all right guys today i want to show you how to fix the bluetooth mouse not uh, not connecting on your boot camp on macbook pro all right i got this bluetooth mouse here from ebay or amazon one of the two and when you try to connect it you go to bluetooth settings add a bluetooth device okay click add a bluetooth device when you click on it say make sure it's turned on and discoverable okay it's already on discoverable mode mode is blinking you you click the button and then it, when it's blinking that means you can find it here when you try to connect uh it's just gonna do that uh say connecting it should take about four or five seconds to connect but this one is not connecting all right so that's the issue we have. So let's see how we about to fix that. First thing first, we have to make sure you have uh, you have the right drivers for your Mac. Okay, every MacBook have different drivers. You can, you cannot just install one uh, set of Bootcamp uh, drivers to any Mac. You gotta get the one specific for your Mac. I'll show you how to get the drivers we're gonna turn it off completely no shut it down yeah remember don't restart just shut it down completely all right after shut down everything is off all the lights are off start it back up let's hold down the alt button to choose the boot uh boot drive all right i'm gonna go into the, the macintosh Let's log in. All right, uh, I'm already logged in. So let me see. Okay, the mouse is working on a uh, on a MacBook side, but it's not working on a Windows side. Okay, first thing first, uh, we gotta uh, find the correct drivers for this Mac. How do you know what kind of MacBook you got? You go right here on the Apple sign on the top left corner. You click about this Mac right here. About this Mac is going to give you your information for your computer. Okay. All right. The most important thing to get here is right here on top. Uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch late uh, 2011. That's what I got. So every bootcamp driver is gonna go by what what kind of Mac you have by if, if it's uh, 15, uh, 17, 13, and the year, okay? All right, once you know which Mac you get, then you're gonna go to the, uh, let's go to my Chrome here. Then you're gonna go to this website, um, HTTPS, support dot apple dot com en for english underscore us capital us it is case sensitive uh, downloads downloads uh, boot camp with capital b and capital c enter all right then you go to this website right here right after you go to this website it lists all kind of bootcamp drivers for every mac so you gotta click each one to find your uh your macbook model and year okay for example i had problems before and i was using this one right here five one no i was using uh five one six two one but when you click on it you go all the way down to the bottom click on system requirements my macbook is not listed here you see i have macbook pro 13 inch uh, uh 13 inch late 2011 
so I don't have it. It's a 17 inch late. I don't have, uh, there is no one here. So, and if you click another one, this is, uh, don't need to click one, it's just for Mojave. All right, so the correct one for mine, you gotta click here, load more results. Uh, you can click each one to find yours, but I already know which one is mine. You click right here. Mine is 505033. I'll show you. You click here and you can see my MacBook Pro. Remember I had a system about this Mac. It is MacBook Pro 13 inch late 2011. Okay. Okay. MacBook Pro. Uh, where is it? Uh, let's turn 11 right here. So it's for all of them. Uh, you can see the, the year. So it's my MacBook is right here. Okay. MacBook Pro late 2011. I guess it goes, it goes when they don't put the, uh, the size, it goes for all of them. All size. Okay. All right. So what you do is you click download. It's going to download right here. Right after I finish download, uh, it's gonna be right here on your downloads uh, folder. Okay, now you need to have a thumb drive, like uh, or external hard drive. I got this external hard drive right here, and what you need to do is make sure this uh, thumb drive or external hard drive is formatted to uh, MSDOS. Uh, fat 32 all right to do that you go up here to disk utility disk utility when you get to disk utility you click you click on your thumb drive mine is mf thumb one all right and you select it and you click erase okay it's gonna ask you if you want to change the name and format you here you click on msdos fat right here okay it's fat 32 by the name so when you click on it it's gonna say like right here on the bottom you can see fat 32 that's one i have i'm not gonna format mine because i already uh downloaded it and i already transferred to my hard drive okay if you get the info of my thumb drive it will tell you it will tell you that it's already fat 32 right here you see it's already formatted okay it's good and uh, and uh, so when you finish this your thumb drive you go to your downloads folder okay you just copy that copy the bootcamp zip it's gonna look look just like that put bootcamp 5.0.5033 but yours might be different okay and you just passed it here okay i already got it in there that's why you asked me do you want to keep both stop or replace i'm not gonna do it twice i already got it so after you get the got the correct drivers uh you're gonna close everything down all right close that down we're gonna shut it down guys shut it down no restart shut it down all right so already shut down start it back up you hold the alt uh button to choose the boot drive otherwise it will go back to mac all right so we go back to windows All right, we're back at Windows. Let's log in. All right. Oh, the mouse is still not working. I'm trying to use them. All right. So you got your drivers on your thumb drive. Let's see here. Yeah, it shows up still. All right. What you do first, you... Uh, you unzip it, okay? Uh, you unzip it, you double click, 
you uh let me see I don't have the right click so I'm gonna show you how to fix that too guys how to fix the right click but what you do is you double click it and you double click on a bootcamp this is setup dot xe okay matter of fact let me show you guys how to fix the uh if you get to this point and you cannot right click to you know i cannot even right click on a uh on this thing okay let me see how can i do that all right you go down here i already got my boot camp in there okay so when you see this gray triangle right here that means you already got a boot camp inst installed okay so you click on that you go to boot camp uh control panel and we're gonna go to trackpad right here see uh one finger if i use one finger i'll use i want to tap to click secondary finger two fingers secondary tap and you can choose here if you want to to be the bottom right or bottom left you know like a mouth so i'll choose the bottom right like a regular mouse okay uh, apply okay now uh, let's see if i can unzip this now okay all right you see before i couldn't even when you double click it give me this i couldn't even get that before so when you want to fix that you don't have a right click or scroll you go here A camp control panel then you can change your th uh, settings there so now I can unzip it okay uh, extract all it's gonna ask me where do you want to extract it to I want to extract to the same thing okay same things uh, um, it's a D okay select folder extract it may take a few minutes here all right guys so it finished uh, extracting you can see now i got extra files uh, so what you need to do is go to this one say bootcamp okay all right now you see the setup the exe got a different color and different box that means it's ready to uh it's ready to install okay what you do now you click uh setup is gonna ask you uh, do you want to make uh changes to, to this device so when you click yes it's gonna start installation uh of your boot camp okay when you click yes here yeah, okay uh, i already got it i already got the correct one so it's gonna say preparing to install but okay it say repair because i already got one in there so if you don't have a, a boot camp at all you will automatically start uh download the boot uh boot camp drivers in there since i already got one now you're asking me if i want to repair them uh, i don't want to repair them i'm just want to leave them there but i'm gonna show you guys one more thing if you're not sure what kind of boot camp you got in here like let's say you got to this point and say do you want to repair or sometimes it will tell you, uh, it will tell you that the boot camp is already installed is a uh, uh, better version than the one you got. That means you installed the wrong one. Okay. Um, then what you do is you cancel. Are you sure you want to cancel? Yes, I don't want to install it because I already got it. You finish. Okay. Uh, let's say you have um uh, you have wrong boot camp drivers in there and you want to uninstall them what you need to do is you click to your boot camp drive which is drive c where you get all your files your windows files and stuff you come up here to the search and you search boot camp dot dot msi this is where all your drivers are at okay so you search for that inside there 
inside the drive C. All right, uh, got a few results already. All right, it's already finished. Uh, you, oh, my mouth is not working. Okay, you can uh, see that the all the same size. All it's the same thing. Okay, so you just click on the first one. Uh, no, yeah, you double click it with two fingers to open up this, and you click uninstall right here. Okay, if you if you know you got the wrong one in there, you come here. You, click, you can click to anyone it's gonna install everything okay but the first one is always better first one you click uninstall then it's gonna uninstall all bootcamp drivers in your uh, in your MacBook uh, bootcamp then you can install the new one we got okay after you finish uninstall all this gonna be gone then you can go back to your thumb drive and go back to your thumb drive boot camp then click setup then you click yes it's gonna download the correct drivers for your Mac okay all right after we know that we already got correct drivers in there then we want to try to connect the mouse again all right all right we got to make sure it's on in a discoverable mode okay it's blinking I mean it's just looking to be connected all right I can see the mouth is right there Bluetooth mouse 4.0 input now I'll try to connect it I'm gonna give you five seconds Okay, five seconds is enough time to know if it's connected or not. So it is not connecting still. All right, if you got, you know you got the correct drivers and it's still not connecting, this is what we gotta do now. You close this, close everything. We, we're good with the drivers. Now we got one more step. All right, make sure you, uh, Power, turn it off okay guys shut it down not restart shut it down okay very important all right after we know it's already shut down we start it up hold the alt key to uh, choose the boot driver all right we're gonna go to Macintosh All right, uh, we're on a Macintosh, okay? The mouse is working here, you see? It is working on the Mac. All right, so what we need to do, you go here, uh, you can go up here and search settings. Go to settings, it's the uh, uh, system preferences, that's what setting sees on Mac okay or, or you can come here system preferences then we go to Bluetooth you see we got the mouse here so what we need to do is you click on a, on your Bluetooth mouse 4.0 and you click the X button this is very important you don't turn it off don't uh, do nothing else just click the X button to remove it you remove it by clicking the X button remember that okay then remove okay now we're sure it's already removed see the mouse is not working now I gotta use the trackpad okay close that now again we shut it down not restart shut it down 
Okay, after we know it's shut down, everything is off. Start it up. Hold the Alt button. Alright, we're gonna choose the EFI. Gonna load the windows. Alright. Okay, let's log in. And then we'll go to here to Bluetooth. Add a Bluetooth device. Okay. Uh, turn it off. Turn it back on. We turn the Bluetooth off here. Turn it back on. Okay. Then we click there to make it discoverable. It's blinking, okay. All right. Let's see. Found it. Bluetooth mouth. Let's try to connect it. Connecting. All right. Your device is ready to go. Let's try. It. All right. It's working now. Okay. Done. I got my Bluetooth mouth connected right here, okay? So that's how you connect your Bluetooth mouse to the boot camp uh, on the MacBook. And you can still go on preferences here, boot camp uh, control panel, and switch your trackpad, whatever you like. Your keyboard functions, uh, if you want to have a remote, okay? and that's how you do it now one more thing i want to uh, show you guys is you go back to your now you can restart okay you go back to your mac and connect it over there Be back in Mac. Gotta log in. All right. So the mouse is not working here now. We go back to System Preferences. Bluetooth mouse. All right. We gotta make sure it's discoverable. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Make sure it's blinking. Okay, it's right there. You can find it and then connect. Connect it. Okay, so now it is working here on Mac. Okay. All right, let's double check again on uh, Windows. You can do a restart right now. All right, so again, okay, well, okay, it's working. It is working on Mac, and it, it is working on uh, uh, just working on Mac, and it's working on Windows right here. Okay, so that's how you connect your Bluetooth mouse. Uh, to your MacBook Pro Bootcamp. Thanks guys for watching.